Welcome again to my channel, LR Retro. Now, we will review the next chapter of Grappler Baki, the prehistoric pickle arc. It's the chapter where Haneyama Kaoru confronts the prehistoric man pickle. Do you think Haneyama can overpower pickle? Let's find out. But first, please know that you can buy the new Grappler Baki volume collections, Baki the Grappler Season 1 and 2 DVDs, and Bandai's Grappler Baki figurine on the link on the description below. By buying, you can help the channel grow and release more Baki videos. Please subscribe and let's begin. The chapter starts in the streets of Tokyo. Haneyama talked to Pickle saying. Strong. Aren't you? Then the karate practitioner confronted Haneyama saying. Haneyama-san. My name is Tarada from the Shinshinkai Dojo. Please listen to me for a minute. If we have offended you, we apologize, but... Then Kazaki interrupted. There's no need for apologies, okay? Just make us a favor and hit the road as fast as you can, understand? I'm sorry, I can't. I know you are ready to use that knife. But please understand. We need to bring Pickle with us. This is very important for our headmaster Katsumi. Suddenly, Tarada slaps Kazaki in the face. Then he kicks the knife out of his hand. Sending it flying in the air. Pickle then tried to grab it. However, Haneyama also managed to grab the edge of the knife. This is very strange. The spectators are surprised saying. Ah. Haneyama-san is squeezing his hand. And he's holding the knife by the edge. Yes, Haneyama is squeezing Pickle's hand as hard as he can. It'll cut the second's hand. Shouted by Kazaki. This action was a clear attack. But Pickle notices that this man likes Pickle a lot. Then Haneyama smiled. Amazing. Commented by the spectators. Then Pickle also smiled with excitement. Breaking the sharp knife in half. Back in the Shinshinkai Dojo. Arachi Dapo's jacket has been grabbed by Katsumi before he can take it off. Quickly striking his father with a full-powered thumb strike to the neck. Instantly knocking him down. Katsumi then said. Usually, I don't use cheap tricks like these. While fighting on any of my opponents but. This is beyond tradition. You will remain the heir of the Arachi style anyway. You'll be fine after this. Father, we have different paths ahead of us. Goodbye. Back in the street, the prehistoric man Pickle managed to punch Haneyama in the face. Sending him flying really far. And instantly knocking down the strongest Yakuza to the ground. Kazaki is really angered. He tried to punch Pickle in the face while shouting. You son of a bee. However, it has no effect on Pickle. Then the prehistoric man grabbed Kazaki's arm. Crushing it with his overwhelming strength. Destroying Kazaki's bone like it was nothing. Oh no. Then Pickle casually leaves. The Shinshinkai practitioners then shouted. No way. We can't let him go. Then Tarada blocks Pickle's way. He then said. I'll have to ask you to stay a little longer. However, the prehistoric man just ignored him. So the karate practitioner unleashed a strong roundhouse kick in the face of Pickle. Following it up with a leg kick. Then unleashing a large barrage of strikes in Pickle's weak points. However, the prehistoric man is not affected one bit. He just raised his hand. And he slapped the karate practitioner to the ground. Instantly knocking him out. Then Pickle noticed someone. The strongest Yakuza Haneyama Kaoru is standing on his feet once again. He then said. You ain't going nowhere. No, they will. The fight started. The fight has already. Then Pickle smiled. On the spur of the moment, Pickle tackled Haneyama with his superhuman strength. But Haneyama Kaoru managed to take it. While pushing Haneyama, the prehistoric man noticed something. He imagined the strong Haneyama Kaoru as a triceratops. The time. The 21st century. The location. Tokyo, Japan. A place where profits are made and laughter melts under the neon lights. But this is not important for the ancient warrior. His sharp eyes can see a reality that differs from it. Something completely different. He sees Haneyama Kaoru as a strong dinosaur from his time. Pushing him back with ease. Pickled then thinks. The man that stands in my way right now. He's much smaller than me, but. I remember that once in my land. I found some worthy opponents who had power that was equal to this man. He's nowhere close to the size of those others. But his power is very similar. Maybe a little stronger. That's strange. Haneyama then said. I was really shocked when I heard that you fought against dinosaurs. 
But that was a long time ago, and that's it. This is where it ends. You won't advance further than here. Then Hanayama Kaoru tried to push Pickle back seriously. Pickle is really surprised by the sheer strength of this man. How can he do this? This is not possible. What are the motives that are making this man stronger? Justice? Humanity? Responsibility? A promise? Those are rare display of human design. This surpasses human reason and common sense. It could be the power of the spirit? The mystery of the divine? Pickle's past opponents could not have possessed such spiritual strength. To show something like that would be too much for them. They were too big, too powerful, and they didn't know what to do besides to follow instincts. But their brains were too small for it. The spectators then commented. Oh my god. They stopped. It's 50-50 even. Pickle then thinks. I held a sadness for so long, until now. You are welcome to take me on, powerful one. Come with all your strength. Then Hanayama touched Pickle saying. We're done. Sorry for stopping you. You're late. Baki. Then we see the son of Ogre behind a prehistoric man. Han Mabaki then said. I owe you one, Hanayama-san. Thanks for calling me so fast. The crowd is really surprised shouting. Oh my god, Han Mabaki. No way. Wasn't he on jail in USA? Well. Then Baki confronted Pickle saying. That was amazing. I knew it. What do you think of this chapter? Do you think Hanayama Kaoru has a chance to defeat Pickle if they continued their match? Comment down your opinion below. Special thanks to Stranger Dragons Prevail, Francois, The Real Zurvan, a Patreon of the Uts, Jacket, Johnny Might, JJF, OK, Vega Punk, Isom Harris, Awesome Swaceable, Trond Becker, Will, Game Freak Plays, Thomas West, Casey, Aavik the Gamer, Dead Fox 0606, John Vinovich, Ahmed Zoyer, The Creeper, Joshua Ash, Aiden, Mars Kane, Claudio Aguilera, Francisco Carrillo, Jaden Robinson, Carlos Rios, Kowalski, Reiner Braun, Tarek Abujabur, Brennan, and Davies Uber Als. We really appreciate your help. If you want to support my channel, please subscribe to my Patreon, LR Sean. I will put a link in the description below. Our next video will be about the confrontation of Han Mabaki and the prehistoric man pickle. Stay tuned.